Hello, my name is Wayne, and behind the camera is Steph. Hiya! And together we are the, the DIY, DIY Doers. Doers! And we're here to encourage you to learn new skills, save money, time, and give you the confidence to be a DIY doer. <laughs> Today we're going to make friends with our fuse box. Once you see how easy it is to understand, you can do any electrical DIY project around the house. So what is a fuse box? A fuse box organises the power that comes into your house. Don't be afraid of it. It's all safe. It's covered in plastic. It's designed so you can't be electrocuted by touching any of this outer casing. Looking at it, you'll see a load of switches. One of them will be larger than the rest. It's usually black, brown or red. If you flick that switch down, all the power to your house will go off. The other switches are different circuits and represent different rooms or areas of the house. So if we look at this fuse board, we can see here Steph has one that says lighting, sockets and cooker and there's various other ones. Here she's got symbols and pictures that tell us what they look after. It could be handwritten on yours. So for example, if you have a power surge in your house or a bulb goes out which causes your main lights to go out, here, there, we've lost lighting. If you look at your fuse board, you'll see that whereas all the other switches are pointing upwards, this one area where it says lighting is pointing downwards, which means there's been a safety trip. It's a good thing. It means it's protecting your house. So if we flick that switch back up, we've restored lighting. If for any reason that flick, that switch keeps dropping down, it means it needs further investigation and get an electrician to look at that. The reason why Steph and I are encouraging you to be friends with your fuse box is so that you can personalise your home. Legally, as an untrained electrician, you can change your light fittings, change your light switches, change your plug sockets. So you don't get a shock, always remember to turn off the power to the area you're working on by flicking the switch down. If you thought this video was helpful, Steph, please like it. And if you'd like to be part of the DIY Doers Club, subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Facebook group. And remember, you, you can, can be, be a, a DIY, DIY doer. doer. The reason why Steph and I are encouraging you to be friends with you. <laughs>